this week on a very special episode of Days of Our Pirates. The Pirates are one loss away from their 100th loss of the season, a milestone that they haven't accomplished in almost a decade. And the Pirates right here, they're playing the Cubs at PNC Park, the team that they've had so many terrible, terrible losses and terrible, terrible plays against this year. It's the first pitch of the game. And just like that, it looks like we are most likely going to lose our 100th game. It only takes one pitch, and this game has already been set. The tone has been set, and the Cubs have submitted their dominance. And, oh my god, please. Okay, it stays in the ballpark, and that's going to be a double for Ian Happ. But my goodness, I mean, how? Okay, literally... I would. It's okay if we lose 100 games because technically it's only one more loss, but don't do it against this team. Don't give them the satisfaction of that. The Javier Baez play back when he was still on the Cubs. Polanco losing the ball seven years ago. He falls down. Us falling down and tripping, having terrible performances against this team. We cannot have this game be the game where we decide to get our 100th loss. Wait one more game. I don't care. One more game, even if it's against the Reds. But for the love of God, since we aren't going to get the number one overall draft pick somehow, can we just win? Just win, baby. That's all I want to see right here. Matt Duffy cannot make the play. That's going to be a single. And Steele's pitching for the Reds today. And after this game, there will only be three more games left. And this season will be over. And Days of Our Pirates has been quite the journey as we go to the top of the second inning. And right here, getting ready to bat. And this one is launched. And this one is gone. That's going to be a two-run homer for Alcantara. And that is going to make it a 3-0 lead for the Chicago Cubs here in Pittsburgh. And this is definitely so far going very terribly for the Pirates. Just like all their other performances against the Cubs. I mean, my goodness, this series started because of the Pirates' pure incompetence. And the direction that their organization was going in and it started off with the braves 20 to 1 loss but at the same time it probably wasn't going to be continued unless if the javier Baez play didn't happen i mean that is one of the main reasons why the series is still here and that is going to be safe and it is going to take a 5-0 lead for the cubs and tucker cannot make the play he got one out but he couldn't get the other one as he slides home and he's safe Stallings can't get to him who was called back up from the minor leagues after being sent down I have no idea why you would send him down and call him right back up like that Especially because you have Henry Davis, but that one is going to drive in another run And then is going to make it a six to zero game Thanks to Contreras Matt Duffy up to bat Duffy that one is going right down the gap and that one is going to drive in another run easily scores rbi for duffy makes it a seven to zero game for the reds going into the bottom of the third inning kevin newman's up this is not 2019 why is he still on the starting roster why has he not been sent down once okay i don't get it as right here newman gets a single so he must have been listening to me as i say that and right here steel still pitching he's only pitched 26 times through three innings pretty good statistics as that one is, is just going to be a bunt and that is going to be a double play wow what a great execution of the play by the chicago cubs and there's going to be nobody on base anymore nice play by Steele getting into second baseman baseman's going right to first base to get the double play great timing great execution just a great play overall and that one is going to not constitute as a swing except it is going to be a strike because foul ball so 0-2 pitch and it constitutes as a swing never mind guys that's the most pirate thing ever and that is going to be an out so brian reynolds he hits this one deep he's literally the only thing we have going for us on this team right now him and keep brian hayes who honestly is slightly overrated by the fan base but still a good young promising player nevertheless but i just had to say it and jacob stallings this one's crushed and stallings this one is going to be caught Hard hit ball. Moran's just going to have to go back to first base. Stallings goes to the dugout in shame. And we're in, still in the bottom of the fourth inning right now. Steele has only pitched 44 times. That's 11 pitches per inning. Very good statistic. He could finish the game with a no-hitter if he continues it up like that. If he would have not gotten a hit. And Anthony Alford, he just hits it right to the shortstop. And that's going to get the third out to end the fourth inning. Still 7-0 Chicago. 
unless if the pirates can turn it around, then they are going to be handed their hundredth loss that we have waited all season four. We have waited. The most the best comedy on television has been waiting so long. Comedy Central has been waiting for this for so long. And now, thanks to what is now an eight to zero lead, it looks like the Cubs are gonna do it. They're gonna put the Pirates to bed. And finally, after declining for five years, they will finally reach 100 losses in one season. And it's nine to zero right now for the Cubs. They're just continuing to pour it on. And that one is going to be an out and a double play to end the Cubs reign in the fifth inning as we go to the top of the six Pirates weren't able to do anything up at bat Frank's up and Schwindel he's going to give it right to Chavis who just gives it to the second baseman and that is going to be an out nice play by Chavis very heads up play solid play by the young third baseman and he's up to bat right now and whoa look at the irony chavis did it to schneidel and schneidel just did it to chavis wow that what an what <laughs> the irony man Karma's really a thing <laughs> and chavis is like yeah we're going to exchange that aren't we and yep that's on, that's honestly pretty comical as he is just going to get the out yoshi's not able to do anything and red is just going to not swing at the pitch and that's going to be another out as it ends the sixth inning here for the Cubs, 9-0 lead still on the seventh. Once again, the reason why we're skipping is because the Pirates aren't doing absolutely nothing on offense and batting. Stallings, he's going to get a single, a very meaningless single, but nevertheless, he gets a single, and he's going to go to second to first base. Pardon me. Steele still in the game, pitching through seven innings. Very impressive performance so far. Anthony Alford, once again, coming up clutch, showing his... Starling Marte vibes back whenever it was his last year for the Pirates, and he gets a double play to end the inning. Bottom of the ninth. Can the Cubs finally put the Pirates to bed for the 100th loss? Moran, he gives it to the shortstop, and he is going to go to first base to hold this off. They need to have a t at least a nine-run inning in order to hold this off. Installings, the man who's going to get replaced by Henry Davis, hands the Pirates their 100th loss. They have finally done it. The Pittsburgh Pirates have lost 100 games in one season, and their incompetence has reached a level that is laughable in terms of Major League Baseball. They have finally done it, and most importantly, against a team that they have had so many blunders in the past few years, especially this year if the Javier Baez play, which really just describes this year for the Pirates in general, right? Very predictable, yet very sad. So three games left in the season, ladies and gentlemen, it ends this Sunday in PNC Park. The tickets are only $10 like they should be every other week anyways, but especially now, all tickets are $10 for Fan Appreciation Week. Um, you know, I love the Pirates. I love this organization, and I love this series, and thank you guys so much for watching. We will have a recap of the series against the Reds, and hopefully I'll find a way to have all of the episodes combined into one very, 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 very long YouTube video. Like I said, just like the Pirates finally achieving this milestone of 100 losses, so are the days of our Pirates. Let's go, 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 let's go